Redline Logbook here to talk about the Soma Familia. And so we're going to start off with the god Soma. Now, what was he doing up in heaven? For the most part, making wine. Now, there are many reasons why a god would want to go down to the mortal world. Some are negative and others are positive. Soma's reason was actually positive. He liked the mortal races and he actually wanted to spend time with them. And like many gods, he decided that he was going to become a familiar in Aurorio. When you come to Aurorio, you have two choices. You can either become a merchant familiar or a dungeon exploring familiar. They both have different rules and obligations. Soma decided to be a dungeon crawling familiar. He actually had no intention of ever selling his wine. But he had every intention of making the wine as a gift for his children. He produced his first batch of divine wine wine as a way to show his gratitude to these mortals for joining his familia. The only problem is, is that the wine was so powerful it got them drunk all the way down to their soul and they lost control over themselves. And these kids who he thought were nice, kind, and sweet were now just clamoring for more and more wine. And this kind of disgusted Soma, but he still for a while went along with it because it wasn't that bad. But as his familia grew, it became quite obvious that it was growing because of the wine and not because of him. And this began to cause Soma to grow more and more disillusioned with mortals. And things only got worse when a certain man joined the familia. Xanus. Now, there are mortals that have the ability to overcome the Soma wine, where they do get drunk, but they're functionally drunk. Basically, they're still able to function in their daily lives, and they're not completely obsessed with the wine. Xanus happened to be one of these people, and this is why he was able to work his way up to become a level 2, and then finally become the captain of the Familia. Now, the thing about Xanus is that he's also a complete piece of garbage. His only desires in life are money, women, and Soma wine. And he realized the best way to get both the wine and the women is to get more money. And so, he decided to set up a system in Soma Familia. First off, he got Soma wine pretty damn famous by selling the failed stuff on the market. Even though this stuff is considered failures, it is still the best wine of all Aurorio. And in Xanus' sick sense of humor, he decided to name this wine Soma. And so when someone says that the people in Soma Familia worship Soma, what they're saying is they're worshiping the wine, not the god. But the point is, he got this stuff onto the market, so this way, it would then intrigue people about the real stuff, which would then encourage people to join the Familia. And the first thing you do when you join the familia is get a glass of soma wine and this was very effective recruitment because the soma familia in population was the second largest in Aurorio at this time, second only to Demeter, the familia that runs the farms. And that is how Xanus captures you, because every glass after that requires you bring in money. The Soma quota system is very simple. Every week, you have to have a specific amount of money brought in, and if you do, you get a glass of wine. If you don't, you don't get wine. And every single member who isn't a functioning alcoholic, which is the majority of them, become rabid dogs desperate to get their hands on any money that they can in any which way. These members in the Soma Familia are some of the most aggressive, violent, and desperate in the dungeon. As such, they're disliked by other adventurers, and also the guild in general doesn't like working with them. You're pretty much unlucky if you're a guild employee and you become an advisor for a Soma recruit because they're usually some of the most desperate of people. So why doesn't the guild just shut them down, you may be asking. They're not that powerful or familiar, so they're not that valuable in war. And also, they're not making tons of money, so taxation isn't that great. So why have them? Well, the simple fact is, Soma wine isn't actually a drug. Well, when you are drunk and drinking it, you get kind of desperate for it, but the effects wear off in a couple days, and there's no addictive quality to it. So if you are able to avoid drinking Soma for a few days, you then are able to be free from its effects, and you've to being a normal person. The reason why the Soma Familia is so desperate is because these members are constantly being able to meet their quotas, getting the wine before the effects wear off, and so they're consistently just drunk. Now, there are members that fail to meet their quota. Lily is a perfect example of this, but the issue is because the Soma Familia is such a terrible place where everyone is desperate to get their hands on money, as a result of this, those who can't meet the quota reveal themselves to be weak. Those who reveal themselves to be weak are then taken advantage of and abused by the other Soma Familia members. The weak are then used to then gain more money for the strong so they can get some more wine. As a result of this, you're either trapped in the Familia because you're consistently drunk and stuck to Soma, or you're consistently bullied and oppressed by those who are drunk by on Soma, and that is basically your life right now. You're either a drunk, if you're strong, or a slave if you're weak. It was a perfect cage that Xanus created. And once again, this is just a scam for him to make money so he can get his hands on more Soma wine and more women. Lily and the Familia. Now, I've already talked about Lily's backstory in the Hestia Familia videos I've created, so you can go back and watch those. But instead, I am going to talk about Soma's point of view of Lily. Okay, so Soma slowly and slowly became more and more of a figurehead within his Familia, 
of his own choosing. He's a god, so he has all the power in the world. He can order around any member of his family, and they will have to listen to him. The problem is, once again, Soma became more and more disillusioned by the mortals, kept just becoming more and more desperate over his wine. So he just slowly just back to doing his hobby, making wine, boring his familia. He still had some semblance of love for mortals. That is until the Lily incident. Now, what was the Lily incident? Well, Lily's parents were members of the Soma Familia. That's actually how Lily ended up in it. Now, once again, her parents were drunks addicted to Soma, and so they didn't actually raise or take care of their own daughter. Instead, they just went off into the dungeon and died long before she could even remember what they looked like. That makes you wonder, who took care of Lily? I mean, she's a baby, and if her parents didn't do it, and you know the Soma Familia wasn't gonna do it, who took care of this child that needed help? The answer to that is actually very simple. It was Soma himself. He raised Lily into a point where she he could take care of herself. And when I say he took care of her, I mean he literally took care of her. Like, he fed her, burped her, changed her diaper, he did everything for her. Until, once again, she was old enough to basically take care of herself. Which is still pretty young, I will say. I mean, she started taking care of herself around five or six, when she started having permanent memories. But even so, Soma would still treat her properly. He would still give her free food whenever he would show up. Even though she herself didn't know that Soma was the one who raised her. Even though she didn't know Soma was the one who cared for her. All Lily saw was a creepy god sitting in a corner making wine. Which is sad that Lily never actually remembered that Soma did so much for her. But it's actually going to get worse. Because once Lily got old enough, she was officially inducted into the Familia, given a fine on everything. And as a result of this, she was given her first glass of Soma wine. And when that happened, she, of course, fell into its stupor. Lily's around six at this time, by the way, and when this happened, Soma was watching it, and the little girl that he took care of, his last, like, bit of hope for humanity, basically just disappeared at that moment. That's when Soma basically decided mortal races weren't worth anything, not any value, just gave up on humanity. Just as Lily doesn't remember being raised by Soma, Soma doesn't remember raising Lily. He doesn't even remember she was ever a member of his familia. At this point, Soma just gave up. He became a complete shut-in who wanted nothing to do with anyone, and he just let Xanus do what he wanted. So as things continue on for a few more years, the Soma familia doing what it always does, desperately raising as much money as possible to get drunk, abusing and stealing from the weaker members. Perfect example of this is Kana. Kana is a raccoon man. He's got two human friends. They basically would abuse and extort the weaker members of the Soma Familia, like Lily. Except Kano was actually pretty smart, where he realized that Lily was the one who was stealing from all these adventures from other familias. And when he realized that, he then was able to set up the trap for Lily with the killer ants and then rob her blind. Every bit of money she worked up to save so she can buy her freedom from the Soma Familia was stolen in an instant. Kano, of course, while being smarter than the average Soma Familia, was still technically an idiot. And he then decided to steal from Otter. Yeah, he did that. He saw Otter walking up the upper floors with a box from the middle floors. And he assumed it was full of rare drops and treasures. And so when he stole the box when Otter was currently fighting with the Amazons from Ishtar Familia, when he opened it with his friends, inside was a Minotaur. Both Kano and his two buddies were slaughtered. Now, Lily was able to use this moment to fake her death, which then pissed off Xanus. Reason why is because Xanus, at this time, just learned about the Xenos, a group of talking monsters. And he realized that they are being sold on the black market for a tons of money. And once again, Xanus' whole goal is to make money. And when Kano told Xanus that Lily was dead, this should have pissed off Xanus because his plan to capture Xenos involved Lily, but he knew that Kano was an idiot. And more importantly, he knows about all the magic and skills of every member of his familia, because he was the one controlling the familia, not Soma. And so Xanus knew that Lily transform. So was it really hard for him to figure out when a certain little rookie, new record holder, had a companion with him that constantly was different? Sometimes it was an elf, sometimes it was an animal person, sometimes it was a dwarf. But every single time, we're always carrying a giant backpack, always size of Lily. And so when the Apollo Familia decided they were going to take Belle from the Hestia Familia, Xanus decided to team up with them so he can then take Lily from the Hestia Familia. And this led to the rescue of Lily, a minor conflict where the Hestia Alliance teamed up to take on the Soma Familia. And this is where Soma finally gets his heart back after years of living in isolation. The way the conflict between Soma and the Hestia Alliance ends is with Soma. Lily runs to Soma and begs him to stop the fighting. Now, Soma doesn't respect anyone, doesn't care, he has no interest. So he decides, okay, fine. If you care so much about the, your friends, if you love them so much, why don't you prove to me that you love them? He gives her a glass of Soma wine. To drink it, 
and if she can still ask for help and to stop the fighting, then he'll stop it. Lily does drink the wine, and she does succeed. And this opens up Soma. He could not believe that someone was able, through love for another, was able to overcome Soma wine. Because at this point, every single mortal who didn't have a, just a natural immunity to it, Xanus, would just be crushed by Soma wine. They would stab their loved one in the back in a heartbeat and getting another glass. That Lily was able to overcome this for the people she loves showed Soma that mortals do have value again. He kept his promise, he stopped the fighting, but he actually did more than that. He freed Lily from the Soma Familia, and then he decided to reform the Familia. First off, he imprisoned Xanus, completely turned off his status, so now he was a normal human in a cage. Second, he put Ta Chandra in charge of the Familia as the new captain. Chandra is a dwarf. He also hated Xanus, and he's a level 2 who had the natural immunity from Soma, basically a functioning drunk like Xanus. He was also not a bastard. He was actually a really good guy who actively hated Xanus, he hated the way the family was run, and he wanted nothing to do with it. But he still wanted the Soma wine, and so he just sat back and just drank. Basically the same thing that Soma was doing. The two of them were a lot alike in that matter. The god and, their, and his new captain. But the reforms didn't end there. Soma then decided that they were no longer going to produce Soma wine. They will continue to produce a new batch of wine that the familia as a whole will create. As you'd imagine, Chandra didn't like that. He liked getting drunk off of Soma wine, but he still stuck around because he didn't in fact like his god and he did in fact like being part of this familia. He was just upset the fact that he couldn't get drunk anymore. With the no more manufacturing of Soma wine, this led to the massive decrease in size of Soma familia. One, a bunch of members who were worshipping Soma wine and not Soma god basically just left it to that because they had no reason to stick around. And two, the ones that were kind of pieces of shit, that were kind of abusive and awful people, yeah Soma kicked them out. He didn't want anything to do with them. And so, Soma's familia went from being the second largest by population to pretty average, because the only people who stuck around were those who A, didn't care they couldn't get Soma, the wine, and two, were actually ready to work as a winery. They're still a dungeon exploring familia, and that's how they get that primary amount of money, but the familia as a whole does still make wine and sell it. And finally, Soma's relation with his other gods. For the most part, Soma doesn't really care about other gods, he has no real interest in them. The only person he now cares about and has any interest in isn't even a god, it's actually Lily. So after this incident, and Lily giving back Soma's heart, basically, he became very infatuated with her. Now, he understands that she has a lot of trauma with the Soma familia, and because of him and his lack of will to do anything, and so he does keep his distance from her. But if Lily ever asks for help or anything from him, he's happy to give it immediately. She is the one person that he will never say no to. Now, the relationship is still, of course, strained, because once again, Lily doesn't really want anything to do with Soma, but at the same time, she understands that he's trying to do better, and so they have this very awkward relationship, let's just say that. Well, that's the story of the Soma Familia. A hopeful God's good intentions led to an awful corrupt familia, which then later was reformed thanks to a little girl. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, give a thumbs up so you enjoy more Dao Machi and other things. Thank you and have a great day.